Today starts day eight and week two of the Eat from the Pantry Challenge. Tonight for dinner we are having sirloin steak, french fries, salad, and oranges. This is day nine of the Eat from the Pantry Challenge. I made chicken fajitas. I had one bag left of my seasoned chicken meat uh, that I keep on hand and I had a bag of bell peppers and onions so I made this in the instant pot because I was being lazy and if you do it that way you're gonna drain a lot of water off but that's okay we did and then um, I'm using corn tortillas to make this gluten-free and then I made a salad just radishes carrots cheese Thousand Island and lettuce this time and an orange. This is day 10 of the Eat from the Pantry Challenge and we're having one of our standby dinners which is baked chicken from the freezer, some frozen broccoli in a steamer bag, uh, also from the freezer obviously, and another potato from the root cellar. We probably eat potatoes every single day. so. This is always a standard, usually baked because I can do it in the Instant Pot and it's easier. And then an orange. Today is day 11 of the Eat from the Pantry Challenge. I made my four meat meatloaf and it's ground chuck, ground chicken, both of which we ground up ourselves. Um, breakfast sausage and ground turkey and then homegrown home canned green beans and homegrown home canned potatoes that we made into fried potatoes and then a salad uh, this is the last of the first head of lettuce the other two still look good so uh, buying three seems to have worked. Hopefully they'll last maybe two weeks, but I'm thinking probably really only one based on the life of lettuce. I had to use the last of the sliced cucumbers, so that's all the way through the first cucumber that I had. I have one more and then um, still got plenty of radishes and there's still plenty of purple onion and almost through the first batch of carrots that I sliced up for salad fixings. Uh, so I'll have one more salad with the carrots and then I'll have to slice stuff up again. So doing good. We saw plenty of carrots and uh, there's plenty of cut up red onion, which should last a week more, I, th I would think. And then I have another red onion. So uh, hopefully that will last through the whole challenge. Anyway, that's how we're doing. Day 12 of the Eat from the Pantry challenge failed to record, but this is what I made with some variation. A uh, one pot chicken parmesan pasta. This is a skillet uh, penne. And uh, instead of using chicken, I used ground beef and uh, instead of using water, I use chicken broth, but other than that, it virtually followed the recipe completely. And this is from the Chunky Chef, Chunky Chef. This is from the Chunky Chef website. So this is what we had. Today is day 13 of the Eat from the Pantry Challenge. I i um, shocked that it is already almost halfway. Uh, one more day to go. Um, I made beef stew. We left this in a little bit longer this time, so it came out a little more like pulled chuck roast in there, but it'll still be yummy. Um, this is from my home canned beef, my home grown home canned uh, potatoes, and my home canned carrots. I have a salad. And then an orange. 
Today is day 14 of the Eat from the Pantry Challenge. Made chicken strips. These are gluten free. They're by Purdue. And sweet potato fries. These are 365 by Whole Foods and they have no soy in them. Um, and then I made a salad with lettuce, cucumber, radish, red onion, carrots, and some Mexican blend cheese. So the challenge has gone really well the first two weeks. We haven't bought anything yet. Um, I took the last cucumber out to chop up tonight for cucumber fixings. It was still firm. I was really surprised because they don't usually last that long in the freezer or uh, they usually don't last that long in the refrigerator and uh, I was really careful when I bought it on the 31st to make sure that they were really hard and really firm and it's held up very very well um, usually they don't hold up like that unless they're from the garden so, so far we have not bought anything this month and I am hoping that will continue for a while yet, but I may have to buy milk soon and bread. We'll see. Gluten-free bread, mind you. So that is the wrap up. Things are going pretty well.